Welcome back once again, everybody, to Podium Vehicle Reviews. Today, we have the Penumbra FF. What an interesting name. So, this car, actually, I forgot the price of this car. I actually don't even know where you get it. <laughs> wow. Here it is. $1,380,000. That's how much this car no normally costs. And I believe it's based on a Fast and Furious car. So, as usual, I'll run you guys through the customization on this car, and then we'll we'll uh, take this thing out for a drive and show the performance, and then give a final verdict. So I didn't even armor this thing up. Wow! <laughs> Here I am. Think I've completely ducked this thing up. Wow. Okay. We got a lot of exhausts, bumpers, there's a bunch of these. Look at them all. <laughs> there's a bunch of customization for this thing. How many cars you got Front seats. Don't know if there's any back seats to customize, but, you know. Like, this is just some of the customization. This looks really cool, though. We hungry. <laughs> This also looks really cool. Like, there's some really cool liveries for this car. A lot of them are really clean. Like, the Princess Robo Bubblegum livery, obviously. You got this crazy looking one. Uh, mirrors, you can customize those up. We got the plates, uh, roof. Skirts, lots of skirts. And Rockstar really did this one up. Like, there's so many customization options now why why this is the same problem I had with a pariah and there's different sun strip as well the suspension is pretty much pronounced at this point like that transmission only goes up to race transmission turbo tuning and the windows. So, lots of customization. So now I'll show you guys some performance, and then we'll give a final verdict on this car. So, what? Oh, cool, my new RE7B was there. But yeah, for those who don't know, I purchased an RE7B today. So, it's not in my garage. Highly recommend that car. As you guys can see, it's not really doing. God damn it! Has the, I believe this is the same interior that's in the Banshee. Like not the 900R, but the normal Banshee. Well, actually, I think if you convert it to 900R, then I think it still keeps the same interior. Not really doing very well, though, unfortunately. Like a lot of cars, like it's hitting 130 right now, which is not too bad for this road. But most cars in the sports class, this isn't the sports class. Most cars in the sports class hit like 140 down this road. It doesn't only go on like 130. So not only the rest in top speed, and that's for handling. It also doesn't really handle very well. See, it, it really does not handle very well. It's one of those drifter cars. It's, it's a really slidey car. It's kind of like the Coquette D10, except as a Fast and Furious car. And it, I mean, I'm handling it pretty well right now, but for a newer player who's not really a professional racer of any kind, yeah, they're going to probably struggle with this car. <laughs> And they're going to crash and then get killed by the tryhard chasing them. So. It's actually hitting pretty decent speed down this road. Wow. So there are certain roads where this thing does hit pretty decent speed. But the handling though. That kind of kills it in terms of speed because... The speed kind of makes your handling bad because 
of the way that the curving is. It's kind of like the Oppressor Mark II in a way, with the way that the curving is. Look at this. Like it kind of curves in the same way that an Oppressor Mark II would do it. So, overall, that's a really big problem. So, unfortunately, as much as as much potential as this thing has with the customization alone, and it does look pretty cool, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't actually believe this car is actually worth the win. I mean, it's nice to be able to get a car like this for free when it's 1.3 million normally, but it's actually not very good of a car. I mean, it's nice because it's a Fast and Furious car, but it's not so nice because it's not the best performing car in the game and you're probably just going to have it sitting in your garage. It's kind of like me and these two cars right here. I just have them sitting here and I never will really use them except for like a car driving stream where someone requests the 8.6 or the Mustang. But that's about it. So, you know. But anyways though, that's all for this review. Um, overall, I don't think this car is worth the win. But if someone can master this car, then it could be a pretty good car. Because like, I, like I, you guys have saw there, it does actually hit pretty decent speed down those certain roads. So, if you guys could perfect it, I'm sure you guys could do very well in a race with it. But anyways though, like I said before, that'll be all for this one. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.